Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. Bitcoin has been consolidating in this pattern over the last couple of weeks on the daily time frame, ranging between this level of resistance from about 71 to 73K and this level of support from about 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. And if we take a look at the RSI momentum indicator, it is clear that we are just getting rejected over and over again from this downward sloping trend line meaning that there is a lack of bullish momentum in the short term. And obviously this is just because we are consolidating and actually trading downwards a little bit. So what should we look for in the short term? Well, in my opinion, as soon as the RSI breaks above this downward sloping trend line, that will actually be a confirmation signal for me that the price is potentially reversing to the upside, at least reversing from this downtrend right now. However, it might actually be a signal that we are ready to go to the top of this range and potentially even break out to the upside. So this is what I'm looking out for in the medium to short term. Now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Bitcoin so you can be prepared for what is coming next in the coming hours and days. So zooming in on the one hour time frame here, you can see this rising wedge pattern, which I did warn for that it is more likely to break to the downside. So the first price target has already been hit right here at about 63.6K. However, the next price target is actually all the way at the bottom of the wedge at 60,000 US dollars. So this is currently one of the active price targets for the short term Bitcoin price. So as for right now, zooming in a little bit, you can see that we are just trading in this channel right here, ranging between this downward sloping level of resistance and this downward sloping level of support. So this channel is actually what I'm looking out for in the short term, because in the case that we break above it and retest that level, that could be a signal that we are actually going higher, potentially into this level of resistance, which is sitting from about 65K all the way up to 66K. However, in the case that we get rejected from the top of the range, well, in that case, it is likely that we're going to the bottom of the range, and potentially, if it breaks to the downside, the next price level below it, the next level of support, is all the way at 60,000 US dollars, which would then also complete the price target for this rising wedge pattern. Now, taking a look at the 24 hour Bitcoin liquidation heat map, you can see that right now we are sweeping this liquidity to the upside at about 63.1K. However, after that is swept, most of the liquidity will be to the downside in the short term with the liquidity being at 61.6k and as you know if you watch my videos regularly typically the bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart and in fact the 61.6k level corresponds exactly to the bottom of this parallel channel so again in the case that we trade lower here to the 61.6k level that could potentially be a level where we bounce back to the upside. One more thing to note about Bitcoin here, especially in the RSI, is that currently the RSI is at this 40 level. And in the case that the price trades lower, the RSI will also move to the downside. And it already got close to being in oversold territories multiple times, because whenever the RSI reaches a level below 30, that's actually when Bitcoin is in oversold territories meaning that there is limited room to the downside. And usually what needs to happen once this oversold territory is reached is the RSI actually needs some time to reset a little bit to around this 50 level before it can then potentially make another move to the downside. And the way the RSI resets is simply by the price trading sideways, in which case the RSI would trend to the 50 level because there is neutral price action. And another way the RSI resets is if we get some bullish price action. In that scenario, the RSI would move up more quickly and actually go above this 50 level because then the Bitcoin price isn't showing neutral price action. It is in fact showing bullish price action. Therefore, the RSI goes above 50. Now moving on to Ethereum on the daily time frame. As you can see, we got rejected at the 0.786 Fibonacci level, after which we traded to the downside right here and then lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And after losing that support, we traded all the way to the 0.5 Fibonacci level, where we found some support and got a move to the upside. However, in the short term, it looks like after touching the 0.618 Fibonacci level, we actually got a rejection. So right now, let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Ethereum, so we can understand what to expect in the short term for ETH. Now, in yesterday's video, I showed you this cup and handle pattern, which broke out to the upside. However, I did say it would be invalidated at about 3290. So as soon as the price traded below this level right here, it actually invalidated this price target, meaning we had to cross off the price target 
because it is no longer active. So very simply, what we can do now is simply remove this pattern from the chart because it is no longer relevant. So taking a look at the support and resistance levels, right here, you see the 0.618 Fibonacci level that I mentioned earlier. And we did get a rejection from that level. After getting the rejection, we just fell right into this big pocket of support though, which is sitting from about 31.50 all the way up to 3250. Though in the case that we lose this level of support, we might potentially find a little bit of support right here at about 3110. However, this is just a short-term level of support. So I do think that in the case that we get a bigger move to the downside, we would reach into the next level of support below that, which is sitting from about 3000 all the way down to 2850. That's about it for the bearish scenarios though. In the case that we do just get a bit of a bounce to the upside right now, well, of course, we would first have to break this level of resistance, the 0.618 Fibonacci level, at about 33.30. However, if the price does break through, the next level of resistance above us is from about 34.30 all the way up to 35.30. Now let's take a look at Solana on the daily time frame. As you can see, we first got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level. And after that, we traded to the downside, losing support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. However, eventually we did find some support at the 0.5 Fibonacci level where we got some choppy sideways price action. And right now we are very, very close for Solana to actually break to the downside of the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So this is a pretty serious situation for Solana currently testing that level. It is of course still possible to get a bounce from there, but in the case that it does lose that level of support, yeah, it's just not looking good for Solana. So right now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels that you need to keep an eye on right now. So as you can see, recently we were following this blue trend line to the upside. However, I did warn that in the case that we would lose that trend line support, it would be very bearish for Solana. And as you can see, as soon as we did lose the trend line, we got a quick move to the downside and are currently still moving to the downside. However, one thing that has been keeping Solana together is this big white downward sloping trend line that you can see in the chart. Because zooming in here, even though we were getting a very fast move to the downside for Solana, the thing that was actually creating support was this downward sloping trend line right here. So as of right now, the price has gotten a bounce from this level of support. However, then got rejected into this level of resistance right here, which is sitting from about $140 all the way up to $150. So now Solana is trading back to the downside and found a tiny bit of support right here on this trend line, as well as in this level of support, which is sitting from about 133 all the way down to 125 for the price of Solana. So to summarize here, this level of support and this level of resistance is what you should be keeping an eye on right now in the short term, because in the case that the price does break above, well, the next level of resistance is this short-term resistance at about 160. And then above that, this level right here from about 166 all the way up to $172 for the price of Solana. Now, if you are interested in joining a crypto community and getting access to my real-time thoughts on the market, I would like to invite you to join the community. You can do it with the first link in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, please subscribe if you haven't already and turn notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. As I said, thank you once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.